Good morning. I live in Switzerland and I grow my own veggies. And recently the gas prices have gone up incredibly. So I thought I might give it a go and try some biogas. And here is my installation. This is the house where I live and my wife from outside and my garage. And on top of my garage, you can see two solar panels. This is what I did first, thinking about the energy I would need to heat my digester during cold Swiss winters. Okay, let's get into my garage. Here you see the tank. This is a IBC tank that I have insulated so the temperature stays inside when we heat them up through winter to keep it at about 35 degrees. Here we have the inlet for the system. I grind my food stuff and my garden residues and that goes into the tank with this pipe here. Here you see the one heating element. Here the gas comes out and goes up, goes up, comes down again into this water filter type. Here the CO2 should be washed, it's a washing unit. Then the gas goes in another filter up here. Here we got iron sponges that you use for cleaning. They should wash out the sulfur. And here before that you have a, a coupling where I can get rid of the excess water which can accumulate inside the system. After this, through this top pipe, the gas then goes behind my garage and I'll show you that later. Okay, here we are back on top of the black digester, IBC tank. Here is a, another heating element of 400 watts. It's used for aquariums to heat them up. This one here is 250 watts. And here this pipe, it's the overflow pipe. When the digester should be full, I can then drain the excess into this tank here. And this tank will then hold the manure and the fertilizer, which is coming out of here. On top here you see those cables. This is a probe. I measure the temperature and here is the gauge. So currently we have 38.6 degrees, which is quite nice for, for those mesophilic bacteria. And here you can see I, I, const I made a little unit to stir the thing. It's a little engine that runs and drives a belt and the belt drives this shaft and the shaft goes into my tank way down and below there is a T type 
bar attached to this piece of poly which turns slowly my inside of the digester. Here we are at the back of my garage on top and you see the three holding tanks for the gas. I'm currently experimenting with rubber boats. What I first built was this tank here, which is made of a poly, uh, a poly thing. And another one, a smaller one that fits inside and water and it keeps the gas inside and you can see how this is just filling up now because I've been cooking last night. Here we have a rubber boat that is almost full and here is the other, the third boat which is about to be filled. And they get to this part here where the green hose then leads up to the house. The yellow is the gas line. The green one is to feed water into my inlet to wash the food while it's being macerated. That comes from the green one. Here comes from a water, rainwater tank which I have here and the yellow hose goes up and up and up the house. Let's see if we can show, yes, way up, way up to the balcony. Now we'll go up and we'll do some cooking. Okay, this is what the garage looks like from above, from my balcony. Here is the pipe going up to the house. Now let's see the pipe. Here it is. It comes out and we follow the pipe past my tomato house and in through, it's temporary, through my cat door, past the cat food station. And here, into a little pump. I'm going to switch on the pump now. So the pump is now pumping gas. And here is my burner. I had to put the camera on a tripod because I need two hands to do this. So the pump works. Here is a safety catch. And here comes the gas. So this was the first part of my biogas digester experience. I will post more videos about the details and about the theory of it. Bye bye.